I'm sorry, man, this isn't a live stream, but hopefully this is a pretty good substitute. So 2022 is over. Welcome in 2023. I hope you all had a good new year. I hope everyone had a great 2022. I just want to apologize if I sound uh, terrible as far as the quality is concerned. I'm recording this in my living room, so you might hear like a gigantic echo and like birds flying by and shit like that and chirping. Also, I'm not the best speaker in terms of having shit to say, so I don't have a script to follow. This is all very off the cuff. So if there are like long pauses and I'm rambling, I'm just a long pausing, rambling asshole. Sorry. But yeah, new year. How was the old year for me? Depends on how you look at it. It could be a glass half full or half empty kind of thing. So if you're looking at it as a glass half empty kind of thing, it's more like, okay, I published 11 videos this year. I snuck in one at the end of the year. And with the exception of a WWE 2K22 review, all of them performed the same. They get about 400 to 700 views before they immediately just halt. They die essentially and don't get anything else. The only other traction they get is people trickling in views from either stumbling into my channel randomly or they just so happen to search up the game that I'm covering in, sp in a specific video like Mutant Football League or Facebreaker and that's how they find it. Uh, yeah, I don't really hit the algorithm that much and that can be partially my, well not can be, it is partially my fault because I don't play the YouTube metagame that well. <laughs> I don't like making super clickbaity thumbnails. I don't like making in the middle of the video reminders to like the video. I don't like doing all that shit. And uh, I'm fine with that. To be honest, I'd rather fail doing things my own way than succeed doing things I don't want to be doing. Does that make any sense? I don't know. I hope you get it. Um, but yeah, that's the glass half empty kind of version. The glass half full kind of version is, hey, last year I made this video at 2,000 2, subscribers. I've more than doubled that amount. I have a fan base or viewer base, subscriber base, whatever you want to call it. In the comments, commenting and waiting for new uploads and genuinely enjoying the content. From what I can see from YouTube analytics, you guys actually watch the video. Um, a lot of my watch time is well above 50%, um, which begs the question, why doesn't YouTube push out my videos? But that's a whole nother story. Uh, so yeah, up and down for YouTube. As far as real life, it's been a lot better. Um, I got a new place, I moved out, and I got a new job. So the reason why video uploads have slowed down recently is mostly because I've been a lot more busier if that makes sense. So for 2021 and 2020, I used to pump out videos every 10 to 14 days. And that was because we we're in the middle of the pandemic when it was at its all time high. So I had all the time in the world to write scripts and record audio and edit and do all that good stuff and think of plans for new videos. But the pandemic's gone at this point and so is all of my free time that I've had to make videos. Uh, the new job I have is in retail and for those of you who are familiar with retail work, you would know the last two months or so are the busiest time of the year because it's the holiday season and ugh, the less said about that, the better. But yeah, uh, I'm happy I have a job, don't get me wrong, and I'm happy I got this new place. Definitely don't get me wrong about that, but that's why there's been like this little gap in video production. Um, there's going to be that gap there now, not unless I can somehow find a way to make this more profitable than my job, which I don't think is going to happen this year. But yeah, there's no way I can possibly pump out videos in like 10 to 14 days like I used to. So yeah, that's the update with the YouTube channel. It's been, uh, well, not just the YouTube channel, but like me in general. Personally, it's been a great year. Uh, YouTube wise, it's been stagnant. I think that's the best word, stagnant. And I don't want stagnation. I, ha I, Those of you who follow me on Twitter, I have my pinned tweet for getting that YouTube plaque and I'm 100% serious about that shit. 
whether it's going to be this year, next year, five years from now, a half century from now, I will get that fucking 100,000 subscriber plaque. I set that for a goal and that's what I fucking want. And I think I'm going to get it one day and I'm never going to stop thinking that. But that's been me personally this year. Uh, as of right now, I'll just answer some, I don't know if they're frequently asked questions, but frequently asked questions slash things you might be wondering about. Um, I'll start off with uh, the EA Sports Big Series. The EA Sports Big Series is a series that I started years ago where I would attempt to review every single EA Sports Big game. And I've gotten a little bit uh, with that. I've gone a little bit with that rather. I have did what, four or five at this point, maybe more. And uh, that idea has slowed down considerably, mostly because those videos are the worst performing in the whole entire those videos are the worst performing of anything I've put out. They get the worst views. They're always ranked 10 out of 10. They always have the smallest click through rate and they always have the shortest watch duration out of anything I put out. When I choose projects, when I think of projects to pick, I try and pick something that A, I really want to do and B, something that I think you guys would enjoy and something that I think has the potential to be pushed down into the algorithm. And EA Sports Big, that series, it fits A. I definitely like playing those games for the most part. I definitely enjoy them and I definitely like to make videos on them, but it doesn't really fit B. A lot of these games are uh, decades old and they've all been covered to hell at this point. You can find 7 billion video reviews of NBA Street Volume 2 and uh, Def Jam Vendetta and all those other games. So I don't know how I can tackle those in a way that's unique, that can bring a different spin on it. So that series isn't done. However, it's on hiatus. It's on a hiatus, let's just say that. It's on a hiatus. The next video that was planned in that series was was the FIFA Street Trilogy, all three games, similar to how I viewed, reviewed the SSX games. But as of right now, it's on hiatus. Uh, another one is, will I be covering any new games? All right, so for those of you that don't know, yes, this is a sports game channel, but I don't really cover the annual sports game releases, mostly because there, there, there aren't enough changes in between releases to warrant a new video. So for instance, every time Madden comes out, you have all, all the YouTubers coming out of the woodwork to make, oh, Madden 23 sucks videos. Just as last year they made Madden 22 sucks videos, just as the year before that they made Madden 21 sucks videos, so on and so forth. So what do I really get out of that? Once again, you can blame this on me, me not being good at playing the meta game because I could, <laughs> I could make Madden 23 sucks videos, but I'm not really saying anything that's different than anyone else is saying. And uh, although it can come across this at times, I don't want this channel to be super duper negative, just covering bad stuff and just being generally negative in general. Uh, sorry, I was a little redundant there. Yeah, I'm not the best at speaking. Yeah, so yeah, I've covered negative stuff before, whether it's acclaimed sports or all those other bad things I can't think of at the moment, but I've also covered good things. Mutant Football League, uh, M. Dickey's Wrestling, which I'll get into in a second, Wrestling Empire. So I like to be positive and negative and neutral. I don't just want to be, oh man, this sucks. This is the worst fucking thing ever, you know? But having said that, I do like recording stuff for new games. So this year I recorded WWE 2K22, the review. Um, it did pretty well, much better than my normal stuff. And you want to know why it did much better than my normal stuff? It's because people are actually searching for it. The WWE 22, 2K22 was the new game at the moment. And everybody was like, oh, review, review. How is the new game? It's been, it's been two or three years since we had a new wrestling game. How is this one? So I got views from that. And uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping we'd get more new stuff like that. There was supposed to be more stuff that I thought was coming out this year or last year rather, and it just didn't happen. Esports Boxing Club didn't come out, although it's been rebranded re as uh, Undisputed, I think it's called. Skate 4 didn't come out, but we have a lot more footage and it should come out this year. EA Sports UFC 5 hasn't even been announced yet. It should come out this year, who knows? That NFL 2K, uh, NFL 2K arcade game, 
that's been announced years and years ago. We still don't even have any kind of footage of that game yet. Who knows what's going on with that? Um, AEW's new game, it has a lot more gameplay and it has a lot more uh, video that's out there, but still no date attached to it. It should come out this year. I'm not sure, but it should come out this year. So hopefully we get those games in addition to more because that's the best way to drive people to the channel is making new stuff. This is actually something that is frequently asked. The M. Dickey Wrestling uh, Empire video, will you ever make a sequel? And the answer to that is, uh, I go back and forth on it. Uh, right now I'm in the uh, back part of the back and forth because I really don't want to make a new video on it. And yes, I understand, oh man, you know, they added in all these new things and you can travel around backstage. It's kind of like a free roam thing that you can swim now. I think I saw on Twitter, there's a whole lot of stuff they added and your video's kind of out of date. I say, no, it's not out of date. It's still relevant because the main point of the video, while not being 100% up to date with open world travel and all that good stuff, is that the whole main point of the video was M. Dickey is this one guy who makes wrestling games and his stuff has more goodwill than a lot of the modern stuff. And this modern stuff has millions upon millions of dollars and teams and budgets and individuals behind it while M. Dickey is just this one ass guy making fucking games that people love. And that was the whole point of the video. If I were to make a sequel, what can I possibly say that's different? I would say the same things except, oh, okay, now you can travel down the street to get to a show, you know? It's, it's kind of the same thing, and I don't really want to do that again. Also, another thing, selfishly, and once again, this is me not playing the metagame that well, but I'm fine with it. I could make a sequel and just say a bunch of shit, but the thing is, I don't want to be labeled as just a wrestling channel and just make wrestling video game videos. Uh, that's something I just really don't want to do. I'm not saying I'm never going to make a wrestling video again. And you just heard me mention AEW as a game I want to play. So that'll be a video on the channel, but I just don't want to be labeled as like a wrestling video game channel. I don't want to exclusively play wrestling games for the channel. That sounds like I would get burnt out and that sounds like something I really don't want to do. A sequel to Wrestling Empire? Maybe, but unlikely, I would say. So yeah, that's really all I can think about to say at the moment. Uh, once again, I apologize for the quality of this mic. I'm in my living room, echo, echo, echo. I record in my closet now. <laughs> that's one of the bad things about this new place is that this living room is its a little bit spacious and it had, creates like this gigantic echo. Also the fact that I'm right next to the window, so you'll hear the birds and the planes and all that stuff, and especially when it rains. So I had to go in my closet to record, um, but I'm fine with that. I, I don't, I just bring my laptop in there. Yeah, so it's good to get this update out. I normally don't do stuff like this. I, I started streaming last year and it went pretty well. I don't know if I should go back to that, if that's a thing you guys are interested in, let me know. I know the audio would sound bad there because I'm not going to stream from my fucking closet. I'll just do it in the living room. But me streaming, it's not supposed to be like this professional thing where I'm trying to like, it's just a thing where I fuck around and play a game and talk to you guys. It's, it's not really going to be all that important as far as the quality of everything is concerned. I really don't care. But uh, yeah, I got a new computer and everything and streaming is a lot more viable now. So if that's something you guys want to see. Let me know. But anyway, this has gone on for way too long. I told you I was rambly. Thank you guys for 2022, uh, especially if you watch this video. Those of you who watch this video, especially to the end, like you're doing right now, you guys are the real game day fans or aficionados or connoisseurs or whatever you want to say. But thank you guys. Peace out.